Harvard University, and I teach human rights. But I'll tell you, I also have a son who does immunology, and he works out on the West Coast, and he can write an article, and I cannot understand one sentence in the whole article. And so, it, it's I, listening to uh, Professor Darnell talk, I have that sense of, of, of two cultures of people like you who do science and people like me who worry about what goes on on the ground. And um, I want to talk today about Africa, and specifically about Liberia. Um, and I'll be showing a little uh, part of a segment of a very good movie which you can see here called Iron Lady in Liberia. But I just want to ask you a question. Does anybody know here why Liberians would see themselves as the 51st state. Any, uh, any, put your hand up and then I can hear you. So here, over here. So in other words, yes. In other words, Liberia was founded more or less as a state by the US government sponsoring their return to Africa in the last century. And so there's a whole group of people in Liberia who call themselves Americo Liberians. And the capital of Liberia is called Monrovia. Does anybody know why that's called Monrovia? <laughs> After an American president? Monroe. See, so Monroe, Monrovia. And the other is that they have a constitution that's modeled on the American constitution. And in fact, some of the people here you see in this movie have their families in the States, not back in Monrovia, for reasons we see in the movie. So, the, the, so, so Mon Liberia then has a, sees itself as having a very special relationship with you all, with, with America, with us. And I hope before long you're going to have a Liberian contingent here. But in fact, is there anybody here whose parents or themselves were born in Liberia? Anybody? Absolutely nobody. Oh, it's amazing, because normally you will get people here, because quite a few of the people who actually fought in the Civil War in Liberia in the 1990s are living on Staten Island. Um, so there's, there's a very strong link in certain parts of this country with Liberia, both historically and today. So, so that's the first step then, to realize this relationship between the United States and Liberia. I assume most of you know where Liberia is. It's on, it's on the sort of underneath the west coast of, of Africa. And uh, it's... Josh Mia, Liberia's famous superstar, was favored by all to be our next president. He held a commanding lead in the primary but not enough to afford a runoff against a runner of a woman. Ellen Josie Sirleaf. Sirleaf, a former finance minister, known as the Iron Lady, gradually convinced Liberians she was the best person for the job. Men are the ones who are going to stand and take this country forward. And on November 23, 2005, with 60% of the vote, she won the election to become our 23rd president and Africa's first elected female president. The world is watching Liberia in a new way now. They want to see if a woman can make a difference, if a woman can leave us in peace, and turn our country around. Of course, I'm interested too, not just as a journalist, but as a Liberian, as a mother, and as a woman. We asked the president if we could join her and her team for her first year in office, a year which would determine the future of our country. She said, Yes. This is Dora Bush. 
Take it all in stride, the good and the bad. Today is probably going to surpass it all. For obvious reasons, no. You don't get, you don't get inaugurated. And for the first time in our country's history, as a woman, uh, um, Africa is represented here so fully. Of the Republic of Liberia. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. We know that your vote was a vote for change. We have heard you loudly. The days of the Imperial Presidency of a domineering and threatening chief executives are over. God bless you all and save the Republic. Madam you always said to us, the day Ellen was born, this baby is going to be great. And so over the years, we've always laughed at, where is this witness? <laughs> <laughs> and we just hope that this will be the realization of those dreams and goals. Here, here. Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. Get on this long road to success. But I feel good about it. 